In this video, we will talk about what are abstractions and why do we use them. So if you have followed along with the other videos in this series, you should have a snare drum synthesis patch, a Cybertron synthrise patch, a bass drum synthesis patch, and a step sequencer. Now we all have these se four separate patchers and we can play them all individually but what would be a way to bring all of the components of these four patches into just one main patch this will make things easier and less clutter for this instance we can abstract all these separate patches and use them inside of a main patch the first step would be to make sure that all of these patches are saved into the same folder. So I have a folder called Sounds of Cybertron Max Patches and inside of them I have all these four patches. Now I am going to create a new patcher and I'm also going to save this inside the same folder that I showed you. And I will rename it as my main patch. Now I can create objects and type in the name of the other patches that I had. For example, bass drum underscore synthesis. This object is now an abstraction of this patch. In the same way, I can create the step sequencer. And if you want to do this, you want to make sure that your file names don't have a space in them like that. Because when they have a space, it doesn't register. So I have to go and make sure that I rename this patch and uh, eliminate all those spaces. I can use dashes or underscores. All right, so I renamed my file to not have any spaces anymore. And now I can go back and type in Cybertron Synthrise. And now it's fine. Cool. So we have made these patchers into abstractions. And now if I lock my patch and double click on any of these, those patches would open up. 